Man oh man, that's going up very fast at a very fast pace. What's going on guys? My name is Michael and welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the progression of the Road to Champs community contract because I think I might just know the reason why it's going up very very fast all of a sudden. So if you guys could slap a like on today's video, that'd be very much appreciated. And also please be sure to be subscribed to the channel if you guys are brand new for daily Call of Duty content and you guys will not be disappointed. With all being said, let's get right on into today's video. So as you guys know, last week within Black Ops 3, there was a brand new contract added to the game. And this was actually the Road to Champs community contract. If we can actually complete 350 million matches by September 2nd as a community, we will actually be granted with the prize fighters melee weapons. Now last week I actually made a video saying why I think we actually will not be completing this contract. Because the rate of which we were actually completing it was very very slow. Within the first 40 hours or so, all we had finished was just 3% of the contract. And that was such a very bad pace. But then a couple of days later, the number just skyrocketed from 7% to 20% and as the days went on it kept on going faster and faster literally yesterday the contract just hit 50% completed and today almost 24 hours after we have over 68% completed that is a huge growth of 18% in only 24 hours so I have a theory on why this is actually happening of course this Road to Champs contract was created to create more hype for Call of Duty XP and of course to motivate more people to go on and play Black Ops 3 now if the numbers of the contract aren't going up it looks very bad on Treyarch's Part. So what I'm thinking is happening is that we actually haven't completed that much of the contract and it's most likely that over at Treyarch they're just fluctuating the numbers a little bit to make it seem like we're actually at a very good pace for completing this contract but in reality we actually haven't completed that much of the contract and the numbers on the contract are just going up to make it look like more people are actually playing Black Ops 3. But that's just a theory, a video game theory. Of course I'm not complaining about this because I really want to unlock these prize fighters melee weapons within Black Ops 3 and I don't care what Treyarch do as long as I can actually unlock them. So please let me know down below within the comment section what you guys think about my theory, if you guys think Treyarch are just fluctuating the numbers a little bit or not. I really hope all of you guys enjoyed today's video, if you guys did, please make sure to slap a like on it, that'd be very much appreciated. And also please be sure to be subscribed to the channel if you guys are brand new for daily Call of Duty content and you guys will not be disappointed. With that all being said, I will see you guys later with another brand new video.